good afternoon, everybody. It is meteorologist Agent Thad Forecast. Welcome back to the video, guys. I'm going to be doing my second video today uh, because I uh, have so much time to spare today. So I just might as well do another video, but on a different topic, though. So, guys, uh, it's very, very hot in the southeast. Very dry, very hot. We haven't had a lot of precip yet. It's going all the way into the plains. As you can tell by already just looking at my last video and then looking at these alerts in the plains due to the pattern change and it's going to be very very chilly in parts of the uh the west so guys i'm going to be making a video on the record heat and then the record cold so yeah so it's going to be just a very um interesting video guys so just go ahead and watch just watch this video yeah so the uh, alerts we have on this heat is right here it's actually just more of a special weather statement uh, because we have special weather statements all the way through most of Georgia and then parts of the coastal areas of South Carolina. Special weather statement on the heat, on how it's super duper hot. Um, so we have this uh, a special weather statement on the heat there. Uh, that's the issue there. So let, let me if I, let me if I click it, guys. You guys are gonna like see it. Let me just click a part in Georgia area, and you're really gonna see these temperatures really really surprising so i'm right here guys in the gainesville area 93 for me but uh l look at southern georgia guys 101 degrees in vidalia vidalia and then 99 in the louisville area and then 101 in dublin 101 in america uh, americus guys these are some very well-known cities in the georgia area look how hot it is guys it, it's gonna be very easy to get dehydrated like 101 degrees, it probably feels like mostly 105. And then look, northern Georgia in the mountains, and it's still in the 90s, very hot. Atlanta at 95, Columbus even at 99, guys. So it's not just Georgia, it's other well known cities in, in the southeast. And they look, you just see how hot it is into the southeast, guys. So it's very crazy. And I just want to show you guys an example in Georgia. Uh, so that's what it's looking like there. So for you guys to know why they have these special weather statements out. So let me take a look at the uh, let's take a look at the um, eight to fourteen day outlook for you guys and see if it's just today or the next couple of days. It's going to be the next couple of days. We're going to have most of the country actually above average, but in the southeast, it's just way too hot. It's going to break many records, including one of the Atlanta re records for ninety five. It's going to break that as it gets to ninety six. Really hot temperatures in the bullseye. We have parts of central Florida all the way to the northern part of Georgia and the mountains. The worst of it will actually be near that Valdosta and uh, Savannah, Georgia area in the coast and the Myrtle Beach. That's where the worst of it will be. And then we have another worst part near that, uh, the Panhandle, Florida. That's where the worst of the heat's going to be in this little circle. And then the areas around it, we have other, other, um, above average, but not going to be as hot. And then we're going to have some other heat or hot temperatures in the west but then we're gonna have some areas in the cold and then the cold will actually spread a bit more and then let's take a quick look at the precip i do not think this should be here it's saying that eight four eight to 14 days outlook right here the southeast is above average precip but honestly it's very below haven't had precip in days and we're not going to have precip in any other days in the future Really don't know why this is here. Don't not looking like I agree with this right here. I, I agree with this because they're getting so much rain. But uh, right here, there's no precip whatsoever in the southeast. So I honestly don't know how we're gonna be above average. And then we're gonna have the west under parts of the um. We're gonna have the dry parts of the northwest. So let's take a all right. So get, all right. So let's check out now the um. All right, guys. I'm gonna be taking a look at two models. I'm gonna be looking at the European. And then I'm going to be looking at the GFS. So I'm going to be showing the Europeans first. All right. So this is for uh, the 28th. So you can really see how hot it's still going to be last. Not just today. Not just week, this week. But next week, we're going to have super hot temperatures in that Savannah and Augusta area in Georgia. Very hot temperatures in there. And then we're going to have another heat wave there for parts of the southern part of Kentucky. Look at these temperatures. Super cold in the west, guys. So th this is where the ridge is forming right here. And the, uh, <coughs> sorry guys, we're going to have the, the ridge forming it. <coughs> wow. Alright, here we go. So we're going to have the ridge forming in parts of the plane splitting up this pattern real, real fast. And actually really good. Just half of the country is hot, half of it's very cold. So guys, this is where the ridge is forming. We're going to have, in this... 
uh, dark circle up to six to seven degrees above average right here. That very hot temperatures, especially since they're already hot with average temperatures anyways. And then look at this right here in the green from the uh, or, or um from the pink to the um to the um purple color. Sorry, I forgot the name. We're gonna have up to nine degrees below average right here in the southwest. Very cold and chilly temperatures, and they're gonna get quite a lot of precip, guys. It's not just going to be like this today. We're even going to have uh, all the way stretching parts of the Dakotas and the northern plains can actually get to 2 degrees below average. Very cold temperatures, though, guys. And then we go to the 1st of June. This is hurricane season. Look at these temperatures. Just keep on rising that Augusta area near the uh, sh uh, Charlotte part of North Carolina. We're reaching, guys, up to 8 degrees above average right here, guys. Very warm and then parts of the northeast and mid-Atlantic can just get up to maybe even just 4 degrees above average. And then look at this. The west is just enjoying these cold temperatures. Nice chilly temperatures with around 7 degrees below average. And then just people are just, I'm not joking guys, people are actually dying of the heat. Uh, getting heat strokes and then um, just not enough water. It's just um, a very big issue. It's usually not this bad at this time, guys, but it's getting real bad. I'll go all the way to June, and it's going to start calming down by June 7th. That's where it starts to be above average, but not as bad. So I would say the worst of the heat will end all the way till maybe June 7th, but uh, it's still going to be pretty bad. And then let's take a look at the European um, real temperatures, but in Celsius, guys. Um, so as the, as the temperatures are starting to warm up here, we're going to have some 20 degrees Celsius there. And then the hottest will be in that west area. But uh, I'm going to be showing you guys as we go to tomorrow will be one of the worst, worst days. And then we're going to have, we go more into the um, Monday, uh, Memorial Day. We're going to have some really hot temperatures. We're going to have 23 degrees Celsius and then very warm to that New Mexico area. Look at these temperatures in the west. Just very chilly. Look up to near the 3 degrees to 4 degrees Celsius. Even 8 degrees Celsius right here, guys. Nice and chilly weather. Even all the way to most of the north is going to be right here. And to the near the 8 degrees Celsius. Really, and then just look at this, guys. Right here is really going to be hot there. And then let's go into the... um. Now, one of the worst days will actually be near uh, that Wednesday. Wednesday will actually be the worst day as the maximum will be 35 degrees Celsius. Uh, let me go back to Wednesday. Uh, so, Wednesday is going to be one of the worst days of the heat, guys. Very, very warm temperatures in these Carolinas, guys. Not just going to be the general southeast, but actually more into the, the northern part of the southeast, if that makes sense. We're going to get up to 26 degrees Celsius, guys. That is actually very hot there. And, yeah, it's going to be even very warm to the overnight hours. And then we're going to have these nice, cool temperatures, guys. Nice, cool temperatures in the uh, the west. We're going to have some areas in the, the California, still in the 9 degrees Celsius area. The warmest, so again, the west is like around Wednesday when we get to like 17 degrees Celsius. Nothing even close to the heat in the southeast. And then it's going to get just keep on staying like that. And then by, by the time we get to June 1st, it's going to be... Uh, we're going to have some warm start to get into the, the west, but it's still going to be quite chilly there. And then that, that warmth starts to go down as we go into the overnight hours. starts to calm down a bit more as we go into the um, the June 1st. Or sorry, the uh, that, was, yeah, that was the 1st of June, I believe. But uh, guys, these temperatures are really going to be crazy. And let's check out now the GFS model. Uh, so this is today. Look at, Just look at these temperatures. Very, very warm. Uh, I'm actually, this is just south of me, that, that's around 9 to 8 degrees above average, and then around it can actually have up to 4 degrees above average, just very warm temperatures, we go on more into the week, look at these temperatures, even the Washington D.C. area, really warm temperatures right here, guys, that's almost 11 degrees above average, even in parts of the, uh, more into the Ohio Valley, just very warm temperatures in, in the southeast. And even when the average temperature is in the southeast, it's still very warm. And then as we go near to that Wednesday area, just look how hot it is all over the east coast. Very warm, but the warmest actually in the southeast and to, actually going to include the Carolinas too. Very warm in the Atlanta area specifically. A little circle just right on the Atlanta area. So Atlanta's going to get the hottest so far. And then near the uh, couple miles away 
if in the Boone area, we can have some really warm temperatures right here, guys. Very, very surprising on how warm it's going to be there. It, it, the biggest issue is probably going to be the lack of drinking. The people drink too, too little. And look at this. Look how hot this is going to get to near the 12 degrees above average. Very warm temperatures, guys. It is like no joke how warm it's going to be. Look at the northeast now. That's where it's going to get very hot too. And so it's going to be stretching off the east coast. But again, the longest and the worst of it will be in the southeast. Very, just very warm temperatures. And you guys are going to take a look soon at the real temperatures, what it's going to look like. And then we go later on the next couple of days. Guys, it's going to be the same for the next couple of weeks and days. It's just going to be like that. All right, let's take a look at the exact temperatures now. This is going to be the GFS now. So we've take, we took a look at the European uh, but in Celsius, but uh, it's going to be around the same thing, but you guys are going to see in the Fahrenheit now. So this is right now, guys. Like I said, it's gonna, it was in the 90s today. I actually went to QT now to get an ice cream. Felt so good. That's what everybody should do, guys. We have 99 degrees in the Pensacola area. 101 degrees, guys, near the Savannah area. Look how hot that is. 101 degrees. And the sun without any clouds, it's just very surprising how hot it is. We're going to have some mid to high 90s in the Carolinas right now. Let's check out as it goes into the overnight hours. So these are going to be the overnight hours, guys. Look how warm these overnight hours are. 79, 78. These are the overnight hours again, guys. And then look, going to be some, uh, some very high 60s for those Appalachian Mounds. But look how warm it is. Almost 80 degrees as the low av as the low for that day. And then the next day, 104 degrees right here, guys. 104 degrees. That is tremendously high. We're going to have some even more higher numbers right into that little tip right here. I know it says 102 right here, but that's not the exact number right here, guys. It's probably about 106 right in that little circle. 106. Imagine that. And then some more mid to high 90s. Even gonna have that heat uh, block off from that Orlando, guys. If you guys are going to Disney World, um, just really be careful. And then the overnight hours are gonna get a bit calmer. We're gonna have some. Uh, oops. Ah, oh, what did I click? All right. All right. It's the same. All right. So we're gonna have even a, maybe some calmer overnight hours, and then we go more into it. We're gonna have some more hundreds, some more high nineties on these coastal areas, and then we're gonna have some mid to high nineties into the parts of the inland. And it's just going to be like this, guys, for the next couple of days. Like, it's going to even get even hotter. This heat's going to even stretch into the Texas area. It's in really high 90s. And then we're going to have still some hundreds, 98. Really warm, guys. It's never going to, this is not going to end anytime soon. We go into next week. We're still going to have, look at these temperatures for next week. Here, look at these. It's still, it's still a bit colder, but 94. Guys, it's going to be non-stop heat until... Honestly, guys, maybe not until July. I know July is going to be one of the warmest months, but it's not going to be that above average. So now let's take a look at the cold temperatures now. Uh, just look just look at this. A lot of people in the south really want to see these cold temperatures, guys. Look, we even have up to 8 degrees below average uh, near the uh, part of central California, guys. Or central Nevada, sorry. And guys, just because it's below average, like it's it may be eight degrees below average, but I'm not. I'm, it's not going to be the thirties and twenties, guys. And remember, it's the Southwest. It's very hot there for average, so it's not going to be like the, really much different of the Southeast. But uh, it's still going to be very cold though. Uh, and then look at these. Look at these. It's very cold, up to sixteen degrees below average, guys. Very cold temperatures, and that even starts into the parts of the north. Look, Mexico, the literally the tip of Arizona is the most southern part. It's just crazy. Like, you're living in the desert, 16 degrees below average. It's going to last until a long time. Even this cold, these cold temperatures are actually just going to spread even more. Look at these very cold temperatures near uh, up north of the uh, four corners, guys. That is actually reaching up to 17 degrees below average right here very very cold temperatures very actually just very surprising on seeing these pattern changes and then it's it tries to get a bit warmer uh but i'm talking about this week guys this week's gonna be very cold for the west i'm not saying it's gonna be like this for the whole month but this is all the next week and this week 
and then we go more into the Jude. It's going to get a bit warmer, but it's going to be very cold this week, guys. And then let's take a look. Lastly, let's take a look at the um, the temperatures. Look at this, guys. We're literally going to have some very low 50s. Look at these temperatures. It's around noon, or it's actually 1 o'clock there. 74, 73. Usually you see some really high 80s in like the Los Angeles area. But look at you're seeing 68. And then we go more into tomorrow. Guys, we're seeing 21 degrees. You guys gotta be. That's literally like you can get that temperature in January in California, Sierra Mountains. But 21 degrees, guys. Look at this. In Southern California, like, like real Southern, 44 degrees. You guys, this is crazy. Near the Phoenix area, 57. It's quite, it's quite very cold, guys. Think about it. This is, we're literally a couple days from June. 26 degrees in parts of the Denver area. Oh my God, we have some 30s. We even go to the Seattle area to really get warm at this time. 50, guys. 50 degrees. It's quite, quite chilly. We go more into the next couple of days. 20 degrees, guys. This is quite impressive. Look, near the Los Angeles area, 46 degrees. Most of Maine in the 40s. Most of the whole north, most of the whole west is below 50 degrees unless these areas right here. But very cold, just very in general, very cold. And then as we go more into the next week, it starts to heat up, heat up a lot more. And when we go to the next week, then it's, it gets to its normal temperature. But you can see a huge jump. We went from the 70s here, or we went from the 20s to the 70s, just like that, guys, in one week. But that's how, just how strange this pattern is. This is, look, this is what the normal, this is what the normal should be this week. These are the average temperatures, or around there, the average temperatures, some 80s. But if you're looking at this week, all right, so let's, when we go to this week, then you see the 40s, and that's how cold it is, guys. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Hope you guys have a better understanding on the heat. And if you guys are in the southeast or the east whatsoever, now you know drink water every day. And now you're feeling in the west, then you might want to wear a coat for the next couple of days. But again, all these, the heat and the cold should all end by next week. And then it starts to go to its average temperatures a bit more. So yeah, see you guys in the next video.